Alrighty, Brandon here with Bootleg Boxes here just to show you a little tutorial on how I put the modified game save onto the Xbox original. Uh, we just need a few parts to do uh, the version that I'm doing. Now, of course, there are a uh, multitude of different ways you can do it. One, if you have a buddy who already has a soft modded Xbox and you have a spare memory card, all you'd have to do is just uh, have him put the uh, save file onto this memory card, uh, or, well, yours, obviously, and then you would borrow uh, his game. Uh, whichever exploit that he used. In my case, uh, I used the 007 Agent Under Fire disc, uh, and you could just soft mod it that way. But if uh, you, like me, didn't have the uh, luxury of a friend who already had a soft modded Xbox, uh, you can do it yourself with this quick little guide. Uh, so basically, I already took my Xbox original apart and I pulled out the controller port. It's pretty easy, it's just held together by two screws at the front of the uh, case. Um, and what we're going to be doing is just soldering uh, the female end of a USB cable, which I've already clipped off and, stripped, and uh, stripped the wiring. Uh, when you strip it open, there are going to be five wires total. There's going to be a green one, a red one, a yellow, white, and black. Uh, now those should line up uh, in exact correlation with the, uh, the cords that are on the uh, controller port. So that makes this very easy. Um, now if you don't have much knowledge in soldering, it's pretty simple. Um, all you need is just a basic soldering iron, and you need some solder, of course. And I would recommend just getting some uh, some tip cleaner, because that just uh, makes sure that you don't have any globs of solder just kind of floating about. Uh, and also, it can't hurt to have some sort of washcloth or sponge uh, to clean the tip off as well. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get us started. Um, once you get to this point, uh, you don't want to solder them together right away because uh, depending on how you want to rig it up to your Xbox, uh, sometimes it's easier to put this in there first and then we solder this on there. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. Okay, here we go. Now, try to get these spread out a little bit or if you have uh, a nifty um, soldering station with alligator clips, that is a... Uh, thousands of times better, but I don't have one of those, so we'll just do it this way. Now, uh, what I have already done is I took a little bit of solder and I uh, tinted each of these. So basically all I did was uh, touch the solder to the side right here. I'm a little out of focus, so I apologize. But I touched the solder to the side of it right here, and then I touched the wire itself heats up the wire enough to melt the solder and then you just let the solder do its work yeah just like that I need to clean the tip off Now we're ready to begin. Okay. So I'm going to solder the white lead first. That's all there is to it. Just make sure you got a good solid connection. Give it a tug. That's not going anywhere. Go ahead and move on to the next one, which is going to be the red. Alright, perfect. So, uh, now that we got everything all soldered together, uh, just place it back in your Xbox however you want. Put everything back together, and I will uh, take you over to the computer and I'll show you how to get the files uh, onto a flash drive uh, to get yourself all prepared and ready to go. So, I'll meet you over there. 
Alright, first and foremost, we're going to want to take the flash drive that we'll be putting the exploited game save on uh, into the computer so that we can make sure that it's formatted and that it will, be, uh, it will accept uh, it into the Xbox original. So I just plugged a flash drive in, as you heard. Uh, we're going to go up here to My Computer. And right here, I've already formatted it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again just uh, for the sake of argument here. So go down to Format. Uh, either FAT or FAT32, this is a, uh, a much older flash drive, so um, it doesn't accept FAT32, so go ahead and uh, format that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and carry this on over to the Xbox. Okay, so now that we've got the uh, flash drive formatted on our computer, we're going to plug it into our Xbox and we're going to go from there. Okay, and once that loads up, we're going to go up to memory. And uh, from the Xbox side, as you can see in the small little snippet I have in the corner of the video, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our flash drive, plug it into the Xbox. That's going to immediately come up with this error right here, uh, and it automatically formats it to the Xbox format. So you just hit OK, and now that you have it here, uh, that's all we need. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down the Xbox. We're going to head back over to the computer, and I'm going to show you how to put that game save on there, and we'll be one step closer to having you your Xbox soft modded. Okay, so we're back over at the computer end. Uh, we're going to go ahead and plug in the flash drive, and uh, I'll show you how we're going to put the save on there. So right here, immediately, it's going to come up with this window. Uh, you're just going to want to cancel that, or else you'll have to plug it back in the Xbox and reformat it. And we don't want to do that. So uh, you are going to need two things. You're going to need this right here, Explorer 360. Many of you probably have it. If not, it'll be available in the link at the bottom of the description. Uh, and this right here, which is the game save, uh, that'll also be available in the, uh, at the on the link in the description. Now, uh, with Explorer 360, we're going to right-click we're going to run it as administrator if you're using Vista or Windows 7 if you're running uh, Windows XP and then you're probably not going to have to do that so um, we're going to go to drive open and then uh, hard drive or memory card and that's going to come up right here you're only going to see partition 0 that's our memory card so double click on that just make sure we have it open uh, and then all you, all you do is you take this game save right here you drag and drop and then this is going to go ahead and finish. Alright, so that's done. Um, we're done with this, so close out of that. Uh, now we're going to take, uh, take the memory card out of our computer. And we're going to go okay, back so over to the Xbox. So we are loading up the Xbox. And, uh, about to put the exploded game set back on. Okay, so we're going to go up to memory. We're going to plug our flash drive in. And there it is up there. Uh, for me, it's controller port. Wherever you put it, it'll that's where it'll show up. So click on that, and we will see the one save file. So you're gonna click over into the actual save game file, and then we're gonna copy it straight to the hard drive. Now I already have it on here, but I'm gonna go ahead and overwrite it. So once that's done copying. Alright, once that's done copying, we're going to go ahead and back out. And uh, I'm going to unplug the memory card here, because we don't need it anymore. And then we are going to take the uh, 007 Agent Under Fire game disc. Uh, that's the exploit that we're running. That's the one that I've provided, because that's the only one that uh, I've used. Um, so, just pop that on into your Xbox here. And that'll load up. Okay, I am going to take this time to note that um, I have already installed the exploit. 
So I'll just be showing you how to get to the screen uh, and a few of the smaller options that you're going to have to accept. But the rest is just a very simple uh, click yes a handful of times and it'll just guide you through the entire process. So uh, from here we're going to skip past the main intro. Okay, so here we are. Now, the way that this particular exploit works, with most others, you can just load the file directly. Uh, it will just restart your Xbox and won't work. So, with the 007 exploit, you're going to have to run the first mission just for uh, like a few seconds. Just load it up, shoot the gun a little bit, do whatever, play through it. I, hell, I don't care. But uh, you you just had to load the first mission before you run the exploit. That's all. Skip, skip, skip. That's good enough. Okay. Go down to quit mission. Are you sure? Yes. Now the fun begins. Once we're here, we're gonna go back going to go down to load missions and Xbox hard disk and that's going to load the exploit and there we go we have the unleash X dashboard now uh, this is going to be the uh, the proper screen that you see when you first start it up um, so you do have to back up your EEPROM so we're going to go ahead and back that up it's going to take us to the uh, evolution X uh, dashboard as you'll see here in a second Now from here, go ahead and just hit backup EEPROM. Backing up, there we are. Uh, a lot of times it'll say done above it, sometimes it doesn't. Um, just, it's required for you to do this. So you just hit uh, return to main menu, and that'll bring us back to the Unleash X dashboard. Now when we get over here to basic install, you're gonna hit basic install and uh, you can choose whatever dashboard you want uh, Evolution X or Unleash X uh, my personal opinion I think the Unleash X dashboard is a little easier to navigate through and uh, frankly it's a little it's a little smoother running um, but like I said it's whatever uh, whatever you choose to do it really doesn't matter um, now this is the point where I'm gonna cut it off uh, but all you would do is you would hit A there'd be one or two little prompts they would ask um, and you would just continue on with that uh, and then essentially it would uh, restart your Xbox just like that I actually just power cycled it but uh, it would boot into the Unleash X dashboard like it is again uh, but be sure you take the disc out or else it just reload the game and that's just uh, makes you look like a fool um, before you actually get to the main screen which is what you see here you would actually see um, a small screen that says uh, like you hit A to activate or to install the, uh, the Shadow C drive and that takes maybe two or three minutes uh, and then it would restart again and then you would have a fully modded um, Xbox original uh, now I've already put several games on here. Uh, you can either use it using an application called DVD to Xbox, which is a very nice uh, application, uh, very easy to use. Just back up all the games that you already have owned, uh, or you could use another program that's called Quix. Uh, they can link it um, over uh, FTP channel, but you would have to have an app, the uh, Avalanche application to do that. Uh, more of which that I will. Uh, most certainly get into with uh, further tutorials but just to show you it does work I'm go I'm going to go up to my uh, games and uh, just because Halo and Halo 2 are so overplayed just overdone uh, I think I will play yeah let's play true crime streets of LA just to show you And uh, these are all games that I've installed onto a 320 gigabyte hard drive that I got at uh, Best Buy. Um, it's just uh, you got to make sure 
it's just a, uh, a parallel ATA drive um, or just a simple IDE hard drive that you've taken out of your dad's old computer um, you'll check a web like I'll uh, post a link in the description for a website uh, that gives you every single um, viable hard drive uh, well done. Making sure Piece everything's cake, compatible Chief. and set to go, but uh, so here's True Crime Just Streets of L.A. Um, That's obviously I've right. been playing it for a little while because I'm further ahead than just a new game. Um, but it works pretty good. Uh, the nice thing about uh, the Unleashed X dashboard is if you have that installed, uh, if you hit the start button, the back button, and then both the uh, triggers, it's an instant reset. So if the game freezes on you, or you just get sick and you want to play a different game instead of having to power cycle it, you just do that. Go in here and play, yeah, Guilty Gear. Um, anyway, that is uh, the, it for this tutorial. I hope uh, I hope it helped some of you guys out. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and just um, post them in the comments section below. So, uh, have a good one.